Hi, I'm your Everyday Joe. Thanks for coming to my channel. Today, I'm going to be making a personal chicken pot pie. You know, for those days where you're either by yourself or like today, we're in quarantine. So I'm going to make a, a personal chicken pot pie just for me. So stay tuned. If you want to show support to this channel, be sure to click the subscribe button. And to stay up to date on new content, when we release it, ring the notification bell. Now let's get into the video. The ingredients we're going to need for the personal chicken pot pie recipe is one medium-sized breast of chicken, some chopped garlic, curry powder, onion powder, chopped onions, butter, peas and carrots, chopped celery, a small potato, chicken stock, salt and pepper, olive oil, and a little bit of cornstarch. So we're gonna start off with getting the Ninja Foodi nice and hot. Now I already started it and set it to sear saute. And we're just gonna take its temperature, just like everything else nowadays. So we're gonna use this laser uh, thermometer. Uh, I'll leave a link down at the bottom if you're interested. So we're at, uh, well over 400 here. Good, good for searing. So 400, 425, so we're, we're pretty good. So we're gonna get a little bit of oil in there. This is just a little olive oil. All right, maybe about a tablespoon. And we're gonna get the chicken. We're gonna do the chicken first. So while that's heating up the oil a little bit, I'm gonna season a little salt and pepper on the, uh, on the chicken. Okay. okay, and we're gonna use some of this curry powder. If you haven't tried this on chicken, uh, you should. I mean, it smells fantastic. It gives a nice, nice uh, uh, flavor to the chicken. All right, so we're just gonna turn this, get this going here. All right, so we're ready. Get it in there. Okay. Give this a little stir. Okay, and you can see that it's searing really nicely already. Now we don't have to be too concerned with cooking it all the way through. So we want to make sure that we get some nice, uh, nice sear on the chicken to, to lock in the flavor. And because it's so hot, it's, it's actually searing really, really good. You can see a little, some of the bits are at the bottom here. So we're going to save those and that's going to go into the sauce or the gravy for the chicken. So we're just going to take the chicken out. It's, uh, it's about 90% done. You can see the nice yellow color from the uh, curry powder. So we just take that out. Okay. And now we're going to get the, the onions. Get the onions in there. The potatoes in there. Okay. The chopped celery goes in there. Chopped garlic goes in there. We're going to save the peas and carrots for later on because they're already softened. And I'm going to put a little bit of butter in that just to help the flavors come along. Okay, and this is unsalted butter, so you don't have to worry about too much, too much salt. Go for about half a tablespoon. Okay, let's give that a little turn here. Okay, and you just want to make sure that you're softening them. I'm going to add a little bit more oil. Okay. A little salt, a little pepper, and a little bit of this onion powder, just to enhance the, the onion flavor in there. Okay, we're gonna let this go for a little bit more, maybe another minute or so. And uh, when, I, when I diced all the pieces of potato and the 
celery and onion. I try to make them all around the same size so it cooks evenly. Uh, so you don't have to worry too much about uh, some cooking before the others. Okay. And you can see all these bits at the bottom. And when we get the liquid in there, it's going to pull all those bits out. By, we're going to be deglazing the bottom. Okay. okay. All right. So we're going to get uh, maybe a, you know, a half spoon of, uh, of this cornstarch. Just so it, it'll help thicken the sauce later. So we want to make sure we get that all in there. Now you can use flour uh, if you don't have cornstarch or potato starch works good too. So let's get that all mixed in. Okay. And you can see it's already thickening up in there. It's all sticking together. It's, you can hear the sizzle quieting down, which means it's drying out. So. Let's get the, uh, I'm just using a, uh, a chicken stock. I'm just using a little bit of chicken stock here. Maybe about a uh, half a cup, because again, we're only making for one here. So just gonna get maybe a, a half a cup. You know, not too much, because I, I don't like it too soupy. So let's just give it a, a stir. Okay, and you can see it's already starting to thicken up pretty good. So. Probably going to add another half cup. So I want a cup total. Okay, anything left over, I'm just going to eat anyway. So it's not going to go to waste. Okay, I'm just going to scrape the bottom bits. And and because I'm uh, we're using the Ninja Foodi for this, uh, you want to use something with a rubber bottom uh, that's safe, or even a wooden handle, uh, like a wooden spoon, would be okay. Otherwise, you'll scratch the ceramic bottom. Okay, so I'm just going to scrape up those bits. Okay, so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to get the chicken in there to help help the flavor enhance with that with the chicken flavor and the curry powder that we had in there. Okay, so we're just going to let this go a little bit more. We're going to wait till this comes up to a boil. We'll let this come up to a boil, a, a low boil, just enough to start thickening. Uh, and we're almost there anyway, so we're, we're going to let this come up a little bit, a little bit more, probably for you know, another minute or two, couple of minutes. Uh, everything's cooking up pretty well. And the uh, best way to check here is obviously the chicken. You want to make sure that's fully cooked, and the potatoes. So you know, I want to make sure that the potatoes are as cooked as they can get which they're about halfway there now. And as you can see, this didn't take very long. So give it a little bit more, maybe another minute or so. Because we want this to get nice and thick too. Okay, so now this has been cooking for about 10 minutes. Uh, I just want to make sure that uh, I thicken up the sauce and that the potato uh, gets pretty soft. And right now, it looks like we're there. I mean, you can see uh, how thick it is. And I've added the, the peas and the carrots in there uh, just to let them warm up in there. They don't, they were already pretty soft. So, I mean, you can see how thick the sauce is or the, the uh, gravy. You want to make sure that it coats the spoon you know, or the spatula. So it looks like we're, we're at that point. So I'm just going to turn this off. So now, what we want to do is uh, I'm, going to, I'm going to get it all into the, to a bowl and uh, let it cool. And while that's cooling, we're going to prepare the, uh, the pie crust. Okay, now I've taken the, uh, the pie mixture, the chicken mixture, and put it in a bowl. Took it out of the pot here and let it cool for a few minutes. While that's cooling, we're going to prepare the, the crust. So I have a five and a half inch personal pie uh, container here. Uh, and I've got some, uh, well, I'm going to be using a puff pastry. Now you can use a pie, pie crust, uh, pre-made pie crust, whatever you want. Uh, pie pastry here is going to be a little puffier, hopefully a little bit more crispy. Uh, so it'll, it'll withstand some of the liquid. So I'm going to just take this pie container here and uh, place it in the center of one of these sheets of the uh, puff pastry. And I'm just going to cut around it. I want to make it a little bit bigger. 
uh, maybe a half inch bigger than the normal uh, size of the pan, like this. All right, and we're gonna just take this and put that aside for now. Okay, so now we have pie crust fits right over the top. All right, so, so now we're gonna take our mixture. Now you can put a bottom in here. I, I, you know, if you put a bottom, I don't think it'll cook well, uh, unless you're gonna cook for a long period of time. In the Ninja Foodi uh, Air Crisp, uh, it's probably gonna burn the top before it cooks the bottom. I've kept this sear saute on just to keep the bottom hot, uh, because I am gonna be using the, uh, the grid here to lower it in. I wanna make sure that the bottom stays hot while the top uh, is toasting up. So, uh, so I'm gonna take some of this mixture and just gonna spoon it right in to the bottom here. Okay. Okay, get it all in there. I want extra liquid, the, uh, the gravy. I wanna make sure I get plenty of this gravy in there. Okay, get some of these bits in there. Okay, so I wanna get it, you know, as, as full as you can. I uh, don't wanna overdo it. I'll probably put a little too much in there. All right, so you wanna get, fill it up, because this, this is already pre-cooked. So all we're going to do is really just toast the, uh, the pie crust. So then we're going to take the pie crust, lay it right over the top here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to just going to just kind of quick crimp, you know, just squeeze together and push this way here, just to give it a nice look. Okay, we'll just roll it over and give it a good crimp here. And that's just to hold it down. It's not uh, more for looks than anything else. Okay. Okay, you wanna make sure you squeeze the bottoms here. So, so it gives it a nice seal. I mean, it's gonna to toast up, you're just gonna peel it off and eat it anyway, I know I am. All right, then uh, I'm gonna take a knife and you wanna cut some slits into it to allow the steam to kind of escape as it's, as it's cooking. Otherwise it's gonna puff out, you're gonna get a bubble. So I'm just gonna cut uh, an X. X marks the spot for me in here. Okay. Okay, so now I'm gonna put it into this rack uh, in this, this direction here, so it sits closer to the bottom, further away from the heat, so it doesn't burn the top. All right, so we're gonna just move this aside here. And put this right in. This is, again, a five and a half inch uh, that I found, I believe, in uh, one of the dollar stores or something. Uh, might have been Target. Uh, so I'm gonna put this in here and just lower it in like that. Okay, now the rest of this, you know, you can roll it up, and make a, a nice handy pie, or make a second one, or maybe put some uh, some stri strips across the top, whatever you want. You know, for me, that's that's enough for me. I'm not too fancy, I'm pretty simple here. All right, so uh, next, I'm gonna take a little bit of uh, garlic oil. Now you can use an egg uh, coating. Garlic oil will, will, will work just as good. Okay, I'm just gonna give it a spritz. Here. Okay, we're gonna close the top and we're gonna select broil. Okay, for, for about 10 minutes. Uh, we're gonna check it uh, after about five minutes or so just to make sure we're not burning it. Uh, and, uh, and I'll let you know what it looks like when it comes out. Okay, so it just came out. It was 10 minutes under broil. And if you take a look at it, it's nice. I mean, the crust is really nice. Now, I haven't cut into it yet because I, I wanted to let it cool for about five minutes uh, just so it's not scolding and, and burn, burn myself when I eat it. So uh, I'm going to cut into it now and we're going to take a look at it. It's like, oh, I mean, this crust is really nice. So, so we look at that. So if we just take a quick peek 
in here. It's like, oh, I mean, come on. Look at this. This is, this is gorgeous. This is really, really nice. I mean, look at that. I mean, really, the gravy is really nice in there. So, so I'm going to have some of this now. So I'll let you know what it well, tastes like. that for me. I'll think you're the best man, thanks. You're all right, Joe. Wow. Well, I guess there you have it. You know, quarantine isn't what it's cracked up to be, I guess. So uh, I hope you guys enjoyed, you know, this video. I hope she enjoys the pie. Uh, go ahead and give me... Uh, some thumbs up, uh, share it if you like it, and if you haven't subscribed, go ahead and hit the globe here at the bottom. I'll leave some videos here on the side and some links in the description of uh, whatever I used in the uh, the video here. So in case you guys are interested in what I'm using, stay safe and healthy out there, and we'll see you in the next video.